Hey, my YouTube friends, welcome back. Today is October the 25th, 2022. And yesterday, Xpone completed its fourth annual 1024 Tech Day. And in the Tech Day, they highlighted quite some interesting technology breakthroughs in electric mobility. And that presentation included several advancements in autonomous driving, robotic animals, uh, self-evolving AI platforms. And additionally, Xpone also shared their latest uh, achievements in the flying car. So a lot of interesting things to unfold. Um, in this video, I'm going to give a recap and summarize on the cool technologies Xpone showed in the presentation. And also I'll give my thoughts on if these technologies can help Xpone stock in the near term or in the mid term. So yeah, let's begin. So the first one is a big upgrade to Xpone's X and NGP autonomous driving assistant software. So when it debuted on the automaker's G9 SUV in September, XNGP, the navigation guided pilot, was announced as Xpeng's last piece before achieving full autonomous driving. XNGP combines all scenarios of the automaker's existing ADAS capabilities into one holistic system that will soon no longer require high precision maps to function, essentially opening up its availability to any and all areas. At Tech Day 2022, Xpeng shared that XNGP is backed by major hardware upgrades, including 508 tops of computing power, a dual LiDAR system, 8 megapixel HD cameras, a new software architecture called XNet, which operates using a closed-loop, self-evolving AI and data system. Continuing through the Tech Day presentation, the Xpeng team explained that the technology above will help enable the automaker to develop and deploy an autonomous robotaxi fleet in China. And the third thing is that the G9 SUV will be part of the Xpeng's robotaxi network in China. So on stage at Tech Day 2022 in Guangzhou, uh, Xpeng's Vice President Dr. Xin Zhou Wu, who shared that Xpeng is developing a robotaxi network in China. And the company shared that the G9 SUV became the country's first mass-produced commercial vehicle to pass the autonomous driving closed field test led by the Chinese government. By completing the test to operate a tier one city like in Guangzhou, Xpeng states it has taken a major step forward in robotaxi development, all while using existing technology present on its latest. E and then the fourth thing is that Xpeng's robotic pet gets an upgrade to support better motion. As you can see from the image above, Xpeng software is not the only technology that gets upgrades since last year's Tech Day event. The aforementioned Pony robot has gotten a revamped design to support multi-degree of freedom, motion, and local motion capabilities. Other upgrades features include a significant upgrades to motion control systems. And last, Xpeng showed its latest EVTOL upgraded design completes mid flight. So the latest EVTOL upgrade from ROHT, much like Xpeng's 1024 Tech Day last year, footage of its sixth generation flying car stole the show. During this year's event, Xpeng unveiled the latest version of the EVTOL, which has been optimized from last year's horizontal dual motor structure to a new distributed multi-rotor configuration. The company also shared that the overall system design complexity of the EVTOL has been reduced to ensure better safety and reliability during flights. As previously mentioned, this EVTOL is equipped with wheels and is capable of driving mode in addition to flight mode. Xpeng Aero HT explained that the driving mode is comparable to any conventional car in terms of functionality and measurement. In flight mode, however, the EVTOL is piloted using the steering wheel and the right-hand gear lever that controls movement forward and backward, makes turns, ascends, hover, and descends. ROHT demonstrated this view and lever design. In addition to showcasing the upgraded flying car, Expo also shared that the EVTOL has already completed its maiden flight in addition to multiple single motor failure tests. We're still awaiting for uh, the flight footage from x -Home, but for now, you can check out the rendering video showcasing the new EVTOL design shared during the Tech Day presentation. So my thoughts, of course, the innovations and the cool technologies from x in the Tech Day deserve a round of applause. But in my opinion, none of the technologies are really close to production enough to put out the, the fire uh, x currently is suffering from. 
first autonomous driving and robot, robot taxi, even though Xpeng is making tremendous progress, they're still far away from realizing in the real world. Uh, look at Tesla, they, they've been putting into so much effort in their autonomous driving uh, software. And I forgot how many times Elon, Elon Musk announced or uh, claimed that their full self-drive technology is so close to like roll out to all its fleet, but it's still, it's yet to happen. I mean, it's almost two to three years. And the robot taxi, and the robot taxi, it is a very cool concept, especially for the vast countries. As cool as the concept is, there will be no rev revenue or return for doing the robot taxi in China, at least for a long time. But if Xpon can truly realize the full self-driving first, prior to Tesla, that will be really fantastic. Actually, there are a few technology advantages that Xpon has over Tesla. It, it, it kind of walk a different path compared with Tesla. It has two LiDARs and it has more hardware than Tesla. Of course, hardware needs to be collaborated with software to be functional. But Xpon can, if Xpon can leverage the LiDAR and the high precision map, and maybe to enable the full self-drive from region to region, maybe this pass has a potential, has a possibility to walk out to achieve the full self-drive uh, faster than the other way around. And that will be a really wonderful thing for Xpon. And the third one, the flying car. We probably know that it is much, much easier to build a prototype compared with the final production. I'm a software engineer. I know how easy it is to build a demo compared to the production quality software at the, at the end. So from all the footage, Xpon released uh, about its flying car, even though there, there's tremendous progress has been made about the flying car, there are just more things ahead. Um, even a different type of car can be very, very difficult to reach the production level. Not to mention a flying car, which is like super novel, super different from everything we have right now that has the production level. So uh, I'm assuming the flying car needs longer time, maybe even longer than the autonomous driving. Even say the flying car reached the production uh, quality. It's the world, the world needs evolving with this, this product. The regulations, the, the roads and the countries and cities that, that can empower this flying vehicle, those things need to be ready as well. And the fourth thing, the robotic pad, I'm not sure what real use cases the robotic pad can resolve. Maybe X1 can explain the usage of the robotic pads more in the future. Quite different, but it is quite different from Tesla's humanoid because humanoid it's, it's not looking cool and it's not like moving as fast, as flashy, dancing, cool, uh, as cool as the like, for example, Boston Dynamics robots. But Tesla's humanoid are, are built to, to work. So I don't doubt about the demand or the actual requirements uh, of the humanoid, but I do suspect that the real demand of the uh, ro robotic pads. But nonetheless, uh, Xpon's innovations and R&D reservations are welcomed to uh, investors. And I appreciate the effort and long-term investment for um, Xpon's R&D to spend the energy and money into these technology reservations. Uh, also, Xpon needs to get through the toughest time since it's founded. As I mentioned in my previous video, there are a couple of things Xpeng needs to do right here, right now to get through the toughest time. Otherwise, if next year, if multiple countries come into recession and if the global economy is slowing down and also like China's uh, economy is weakening, Xpeng will, will be facing more and more challenges and it will be really tough for them to, to get through next year. So uh, good job Xpeng and good luck. All right, that's everything I want to cover in this video. If you like this information, please consider to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.